congratulations. Uh, how are you going to treat yourself to something special after this victory? I, I have I have no idea. Um, the first the first thing the first treat I gonna uh, give myself is a is a holidays. You know, it's some time off. But uh, after this victory, you know, I think I was no, I think uh, I, I was supposed to fly tomorrow to to holidays. But probably I gonna fly home for one day and enjoy it uh, in my country, and then and then we gonna fly to holidays. Where are you flying? Um, we yeah we going to to Maldives and. Just enjoy and relax. Congratulations, Donnie. Um, do you remember when you've played so well, uh, so consistent through a match? I mean, it seemed like from the first point to the last point, you were in control. Yeah, that was uh, the most important thing. And, you know, actually, this is, um, it's not strange, but I, I, can, I cannot find the right word in, in English to, to say that, but... Uh, in the first match I played against Angelique, you know, uh, that first match gave me confidence that I can beat her, and my game is good enough to to beat uh, world number one and, and um, Angelique. And uh, this was uh, what I was with, with these thoughts. I was going into these finals, and and I was feeling it from the first point till the last point. Uh, and uh, yeah, and um, you know. Only the first match point, the first two match points, I was a little bit. Uh, I realized what the situation is, and um, but after that, you know, I just had one goal, and I and I knew I can I can do it, and and um, I I was playing this year quite a few times, uh, good 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 tennis like this, but uh, I I couldn't wish for I couldn't wish I I couldn't wish um, for. You know, to to do it any any other match than than this match, finals of the of the WTA finals. Tommy, you've you've obviously beaten Angie like in, in the first four times that you've ever played her. Um, what had changed in her game, that, especially in the first time that you met her here, that was so difficult for you to get past? And then what did you change? I mean, last four times I think I lost to her, or maybe five times in now. First four, first four times. Yeah, I beat her, and then four times I lost, right? Or five times, I don't know, but. Uh, um, you know she she's world number one, so she she's uh, she is uh, the the best offensive offensive game. Offensive is when you're running good, right? This 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 offensive. Okay, I always change it. Sorry. Uh, so she has the best she has the best defensive game for now in the world. And uh, but I knew I have I have uh, my shots that I can I can beat her with, and that was my forehand today, and actually my serve. My serve today, I was serving really, really well. A few games I played out just with with my serve, and then I was going for my forehand. I was, uh, I I just knew what I have to do, and and um, um, I think I didn't let her into the match really today uh, with my aggressive game, and and uh, I had just one goal, and I was going after it, and 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 I think it was tough for her to do something on on the on the court today. Dominica, that's the most important trophy a Slovak woman has ever won in singles. What does it mean to you and how do you think it was perceived at home right now? One, one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still not realizing that pretty much, you know, I, I just, uh, I think I, I put out all my, all my emotions of joy after the match point. It was, uh, it was unbelievable. And then I was waiting during the ceremony, and until now I'm like, um, okay, you know, um, is this really happening? You know, so um, it's just I cannot describe with words, you know, how, how I feel, and I think I, I need a few days to um, to realize what I did, and and it's it's really big for me and, and also for my country, you know, and it uh, it just means really really everything. Hi, congratulations. Uh Talking about match points, you needed four. Uh, could you take tell us uh, what went through your mind when, when you got the first and then all the way up to the fourth? Yeah, um, as I said, uh, I wasn't nervous the whole, the whole match. I I was just uh, doing what I had to do. I had my strategy and I was going after after it. I was I was confident. Uh, I believed in myself from the first until the last point. And the the first time I I got a little bit a little bit nervous. It was um, during the first uh, the match point. As I said, I realized okay. 
okay, this is it, this is the match point, and I put uh, wrong emotions and, and wrong thoughts in my head, and that's why I um, I wasn't able to make the first one. And then in the second one, she, she played a good rally, so, um, but you know, really important for me is that I stayed uh, really strong mentally, and even she had two break points, I was still in the in the game, even after that third forehand I missed. You know, I, I don't miss this forehand, and uh, you could see it, it was, I think, the the first one during the during the whole match, or the second one, I I missed that easy forehand, and um, but I stayed calm and and I knew um, I have to stay focused and just to forget it really quickly and to focus on on the survey what I want to do next. And uh, on her break points, I just hit uh, unbelievable winners from my forehand, and and um, and yeah, I also um, got a little bit lucky in, on the <laughs> on the match point. But I think you. Um, you, you you get lucky when you deserve to get lucky. You, you've had to come back from, from an injury, uh, and, and tonight Angelique was the, the favorite. Do, do you feel that you've always had to, to prove people wrong? Um, actually, I don't, I don't really um, fight with this. You know, I, I, I don't care what, uh, what people think. You know, I, uh, um, I, I learned to, to not care because it, I mean, um, it will not change. It's just my life, you know, and I do what I want to do and, and um, um, probably yes, but when I was uh, younger and, and, and when I was younger, it was something that motivated me to go forward that, uh, you know, a lot of people in a, in a club and around me, they were like, oh, I'm too small to play tennis and they underestimated me. But uh, after I started to play big tennis, you know, I just, uh, I, I didn't care who, what people think, and I, I just, uh, I just had my goals, and and um, and I was, I think I was, uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, Domi, over here. Um, you know, the last two, three weeks, you've been under a, a tremendous amount of pressure to just get here, win Linz, and then just every match here, it seemed like you're on the verge of something. And you talk a lot about your mental strength and how much better it's been. Take us back to like five years ago, because when you started to you know, get nervous in that final game with those first two match points, it might have been like, oh, it's the old yeah. Dominica coming back and getting nervous again. So yeah. t can you talk about that change and that evolution? Um, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, of course, it's a, it's a, um, it's a big thing now in my, in my tennis that I, I work with a mental coach. I worked with him for one and a half year and I started to work with him before the, right before the surgery. And, and this is something that uh, it's really important for me because uh, as you can, as you can see on, on the court, I, I put a lot of emotions and emotions just affect me. And this is something I, 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 I started to learn how to deal with emotions and not, you know, let down myself and, and just to, to keep focused. And this is all about, and I really work hard on it. And now, uh, and now I see this uh, mental part for me, it's like uh, going to practice and actually practice on the court. So uh, as I practice on the court, I practice on these things. And, um, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's working. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't blame myself that I got a little bit, a little bit nervous on the first two match points because I think, I think uh, only very, very few people wouldn't, wouldn't get, you know, when you have a match point for, for, the, for the biggest tournament of your career. And uh, by the way, I handle it after. It's, it shows that, the, you know, I, um, I really change and I am, uh, um, you know, I, I belong there and I'm, I'm really, really strong. Dominica, you're one of the shorter girls on the tour. Even the chair on the side uh, change seems a little bit too high. But um, <laughs> what does it mean for you to tell, show people, girls all around the world, that you don't have to be 175, 180 to hit hard and play good? Yeah, um, you know, this is something I, I, I was dealing with since I, was, uh, I started to play tennis. But uh, I think I was always brave that with my, with my height, you know, I just, uh, I just, I was also maybe stubborn and brave that I, I really wanted to to play tennis and uh, nobody could uh, talk me you know something different so um i just I, i'm i'm happy i'm um i'm glad i can be a motivation for for people who you know that people don't see just the big girls you know winning the big tournaments but also that um somebody like me have a chance and and uh to to be on a on the biggest stage in the world and, and win this tournament i think i mean it, it means uh, it means everything um, you said yesterday that uh, this has been one of your longest seasons. Um, I'm just curious to know what is 
the one thing that you love the most, sort of day in and day out, about being on the tour and playing tennis? Uh, the, the winning feeling, you know, just uh, the feeling after, after okay, you, you don't win this tournament every day, and maybe it happens uh, in your career just for a few times, but um, uh, when you win uh, matches, uh, when you, I mean, you know, when, when you struggle and you come back and, and, and ev all your hard work paid off, that this is, that, that's something why I, I play tennis and why I love sport. And, and in sport, you, it's not like you're always winning, you're up and down, up and down, and that's why you appreciate uh, um, after, you know, after when you, when you do well, you appreciate it much more. So um, uh, this year it has been a long, the longest season in, in my career, but um, I don't complain and um, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Can, can you remember exactly where you were this time last year when, when the finals were being played? I was at the holidays. I was at the holidays um, in Maldives, yeah. Did you go anywhere near a television set to watch it? Excuse me? Did you go anywhere near a TV? No, no of course not. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't watch tennis when I'm, when I'm on my time off. So, um, no, no, I just remember uh, it, was, it was Halloween. It's this time, right? And, and we had a Halloween party, I think, so. Ah. Oh, sorry. Uh, Domi, you're going to go up to number five on Monday in the rankings. What does it mean to you to be a top five player? And do you believe that you're a, num you're a top five player? Yeah, I, um, I believe it, you know. And right now, I, um, I, um, I don't doubt myself anymore, you know. I don't, uh, I mean, I don't doubt myself uh, this year at all, you know. I, um, uh, I always had my coach to motivate me, you know, to put the bigger goals for me because uh, I think that was my not problem, but there was something I was dealing with that uh, I always I never saw myself as such a such a great player, you know, s consistent player and uh, somebody who could be, you know, top five. But uh, when my coach, I think it was uh, after Wimbledon, I, I don't remember, he said, you know, Domi, you had a great half of the season, but you're you're able to to have a great another half of the season. You know, you just have to just have to still stay focused and um, and uh, work hard and, and because you can you can beat the five in the end of the world, uh, in the end of the, the year. And, um, you know, I really, really believed him for the first time in my life. I believed, okay, you know, this is something I can do and um, I, I, wanna, I wanna do. I'm not saying I was coming to this tournament to win it, you know, but when I was so close, when I was so close before the finals, I, um, I, was, I was convinced that I, I, can, I can beat Angie today. And then just going off of Barry's question, what did you dress up as for Halloween last year? I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't wear any, any costume because, uh, because we, we were on the holidays, but I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you bring so much energy on court, and you say you're going to the Maldives where you kind of have to sit still, but even on court, you're... Your legs are going up and down when you're sitting down on the change and stuff. I mean, do you, does Dominika Sivulkova sit still? Can you sit still? Can on my you relax? time off, I only sit still, you know. I don't, <laughs> I do nothing because I think I spend so, I, I spend so much energy on the court that off the court I'm just off. So, um, um, but I, actually, um, every player has different, uh, different level of, uh, of emotions and intensity when they play their best tennis. And me, I have to, you know, I have to be like this on the court. I have to be pumped, you know, and really um, sometimes, you know, I, 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 when I win a game, I run, to, I, run, I run into the bench, you know, and I just talk to myself. And this is, these are the things that uh, keep me focused and the things where I can put the um, negative thoughts out of my head, you know, and I just, um, I just go through it like this. And this is the way I am. And, and, and yeah, I... Um, yeah, and I, and I enjoy it on the court. Dami, champion here, now top five, as Courtney was saying. What does this change for you about the expectations in your career? Do you feel like now that you have this title, you expect more, or does nothing change internally? Um, you know, I, I see it as another, another challenge for me. You know, um, actually, I, right now, I'm, I'm not feeling tired, of course, after a win like this. You have adrenaline and all the emotions, you know, and... You know, I feel like, okay, let's go to the next season. Yeah, I know in two days I'm going to be really happy to have some time off. But, uh, but uh, um, no, I, I don't see those expectations. I, you know, 
I see the next season for me like um, another challenge for me, and I I really want to do more. And now I believe in myself that I can I can really be even better than this. Dummy, I've got a fan question. Um, if you could pick a superpower, what would it be? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't like these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I never know how to answer. Uh, I, I, yeah, sh I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I heard Aga said she would like to teleport herself, and this is a good answer. Okay, so I agree with, with her to not travel so much. It's good. She helped me. Thanks.